Hey, what's up, boxing fans? Miguel Maravilla here with you, bringing you a preview of the Super Featherweight Championship bout as Emmanuel Navarrete defends his WBO title against Ukraine's Denis Berenczyk. This is a uh, very fan-friendly fight. Navarrete, he uh, always comes to fight, always brings it a very exciting fighter. Guy always throws a, a high work rate. He just throws punches from different angles, always working nonstop, never gets tired. Baranchek, this is his U.S. debut. As uh, you know, most uh, Ukrainian fighters, they always come to fight. They never shy away. They lay it all on the line. Navarrete too, you know, it, it's a, these uh, styles basically uh, complement one another. This will definitely be a fan-friendly fight. Got Navarrete, who is uh, one of uh, boxing's uh, exciting fighters. And then again, Baranchek making his U.S. debut, looking to impress. A lot to look forward to in this fight. This will definitely be a fun fight. Saturday, May 18th, from the Pechanga Arena in San Diego, California. As Emmanuel Navarrete defends his WBO title against Dennis Baranchek. For Dennis Baranchek, the 2012 silver medalist, current WBO international super featherweight champion. 18 and 0, nine knockouts. He won a unanimous decision over uh, Anthony Yigit in uh, Poland. That uh, in his last fight. Uh, prior to that, he also won a unanimous decision over Ivan Mendy. That fight taking place in England. Baranchek uh, has fought mostly in Ukraine. Now gets set for his U.S. debut against the always exciting Mexico City's Emmanuel El Vaquero Navarrete with a record of 38 and one, one draw, 38 knockouts, three division world champ and the current 130 pound WBO champ. He uh, had a draw against Robinson Fonsecao in his last fight, in a fight in which uh, Fonsecao was down twice. Now, prior to that, he had a very busy uh, year as he uh, defeated uh, Oscar Valdez, a big win for him. And he also won the vacant 130 pound title against Liam Wilson in a wild fight, a fight that saw him go down, but came back to uh, stop Wilson. Now, Navarrete defends his 130 pound title for the third time. I'm picking Navarrete to win this fight. I just feel he uh, he's a more experienced fighter and he's fought the, obviously the better opposition throughout his uh, championship run. In this fight, uh, it, it's going to be bang, bang. You're going to get both guys coming at each other. It's going to be a very exciting fight going back and forth. Uh, if it doesn't end in a knockout for Navarrete, it, it'll definitely end in a bloodbath. There'll be a It'll be a 12-round battle. Uh, of course, uh, Baranchek's coming with everything. He's, he's not coming to uh, just, you know, be easily defeated. Navarrete gets a win here. And uh, there's a lot more to look forward to after uh, this fight. So this will definitely be a busy year for Navarrete. And uh, I expect him to uh, face some solid opposition, possibly even uh, unify the titles.